happy 12th day of Christmas. Today we are celebrating the Epiphany by looking at the Adoration of the Magi by Franklin Carmichael. Now, Franklin Carmichael was the youngest member of the Group of Seven. He was born in Aurelia in 1890, so he would have been in his early 30s when he painted this. Now, in this painting, we're uh, looking at the story from the Gospel of Matthew, where some time has passed since the birth. And in some traditions, it's eight days, but it could have been much longer. And this is indicated in Carmichael's painting by the fact that baby Jesus is now able to sit up. Now, at the top of the painting, we can see the eight-pointed star of Bethlehem, sometimes known as the Star of Christ. And then circling around it, we have nine other stars. And this may be a reference to the fact that in the Eastern Orthodox Church, there were nine wise men. Now our painting has three, which is mostly a convention of Western art because there were three gifts. Our wise men, who are dressed in beautiful robes, have removed their crowns and their crowns are laying on top of the gifts or in one instance set down on the floor because they are kneeling before the king of kings now their gifts have a lot of symbolic value uh, the gold the frankincense and the myrrh all carry with it a lot of weight the gold was a traditional gift for an earthly king and the frankincense which symbolizes prayer is something that you would offer to a god and the myrrh that was used as an embalming fluid after death and so it points to the future suffering of christ and although matthew says that this event occurred in a house Carmichael has chosen to portray it as part of the Christmas cycle in a stable. And look in the background of the painting, where you can see the beams of the stable are forming a cross. And this is, this is pointing us ahead. It concludes the story of Christmas, but now we are looking ahead to the important events that will be happening in the story of Jesus' life. 